Hello everyone, I am Gaurav, the teacher trainer from BenQ India. Glad to see you again. This is the third video in our series of teacher onboarding videos. Here, I'll take you through the interactive writing board software in our panels. This software is called the EZWrite. We will be talking about EZWrite 6 Lite, which is the most recent version of this software. First things first, the EZWrite 6 Lite app needs to be downloaded from BenQ store via internet. Once installed, the EZWrite 6 app will be available in the all apps list. So download it from BenQ store and this is the app. Let's have a look at the toolbar icons at the center of the panel. Starting from the left, the first icon is the select icon. This icon allows you to select any object like written text, shapes, photos, etc. on the whiteboard and move them around on the screen. Let's see how this is done. Suppose I write hello, select the area, I can move, I can increase the size or I can even recognize it in a actual handwriting recognition format. One other thing that can be done using this tool is to expand the canvas more space using two finger gesture like this. So I can move the complete canvas. The second icon which looks like a pen tip allows you to choose between different type of pens. There are three ways this can be done. For a single user, you can use choose the color and the thickness. So there are 24 color presets which are available. Or if you want to have your own color of your choice, you can select it from the system and save. So it will come into your repository. Choose thickness and then you can write. The second option is the highlighter option. So if I select highlighter, I can highlight. And third option is the dual pen functionality. Let's say I want red color thickness this and I want blue color the thickness this. So now I can write with two different colors because my stylus have staved two different colors. So this would be red and this will be blue. The third icon is the eraser icon. This icon helps you to erase the content written on the whiteboard. Upon selecting this icon, it gives us the choice to erase the content in three ways. Firstly, you can just hover over the content with your finger. The second tool is the handwriting eraser option which lets you erase with just a simple strike. And the third icon is the clear all option which will erase everything from the screen. However, the most commonly used way is to erase with your palm. Next option is to input text on the whiteboard using the keyboard of the panel. Let's say I want to write teach, click OK and you get it in the normal text format. The next icon has three main functionalities. Firstly, it gives you the option to import sticky note on the whiteboard software. The second option is to import 2D and 3D shapes. So I select this shape, fill in the color, you can also have 3D shapes, select the color. When you click on the third icon, it shows the repository of the background templates for the whiteboard. However, in case you want to customize it, then that can be done by clicking on the icon. Let me show you how this is done. So these are inbuilt repository which you can use for background. Let's say I take a new page. I want a different background. So I'll click on this plus icon to customize the repository. And let's say I want periodic table to be on the background. So this is the periodic table which is on the background and I can select 
the pen option and then highlight the icons. The sixth icon on the toolbar allows you to import files. Three type of files can be imported onto the whiteboard software. The first type is the image file format. The supported file formats for images JPG and PNG. For an example, let's take a new page. Import, click on image and let's take human body part. Once the image is imported, you can highlight on it. However, the image size should not be more than 10 mb. Next option lets you to import files in the format of PDF, PPT, Doc and Excel. For an example, I click on this, select my pen drive and I will select a PPT file. Here the maximum file size limit is 100 MB. These all are the PPT slides and you can deselect any slide which you don't want. Let's say I don't want this slide and this slide and still there are 45 pages. As soon as I click OK, all the pages are imported on the writing board software. Now if I would like to show you all the pages, I just select at the bottom right where it shows total 48 pages. So 4 oblique 48. These are all 48 pages which have been imported. So the PPT file has been imported on writing board software. Every slide comes as an image on every page. The third file type is an IWB format. This one. So this is a universally accepted format for writing board software all across. The last icon is the toolbox that has multiple options. On top row, we have all the mathematical tools like ruler, protractor, compass, set square and calculator. Let's, if we take ruler, we can adjust the length or draw a line. In protractor, we have arc, angle, and sector. So you can have arc and the angle and the sector. You can define the angle from here and you can also rotate by this rotate icon. Next we have compass. Clicking on the pen icon I can draw a circle. Next we have set square, change the direction and the calculator wherein you can type in the values and get the answers. So these tools are extremely useful for teaching the subject maths. The bottom row has tools like countdown marker stopwatch, scoreboard, draw and team post. So rest all icons are self-explanatory. Let me show you how does team post work. So let's say you want to give a task to three different students. I type in the question. Paste to all. So now three students can come or the teacher can explain the same question in three different ways. So every person can have their own different color and they can write and same goes with the third area. Moving to the icons on the right side of the panel. First we have undo and redo options. So any written text you want to go back, you can go back, you want to go forward, you can go forward with these icons. Next icon helps you to change the background where you can set any default background of your choice and can even customize background color of your choice. So selecting this 
you can have a background of uh, graph paper and even if you want to change the background color you can change you want to have your own color as a background of your choice so you can select any color from this palette save and select that color as a background so you can have a graph paper as well as the color image both at the same time then we have the option to add and delete pages wherein you can add up to 999 pages at a time on a single file so this is where you can add new pages which can go up to 999 now if you want to scroll your page in any direction for continuity so click on the select icon and use two fingers to scroll the page upwards similar way you can also minimize and maximize the page width to fingers to scale and move canvas in any direction the area of the dotted line is your default reference zone so these dotted lines are your default reference zone and the corner we have the navigation bar so this navigation bar allows you to move around the page so let's say if i want to move i can move around the page here we have fit to screen icon to fit all the content on the canvas to be seen at once so this icon will show you all the written content on the canvas the other option is to show only the reference zone area which is the default whiteboard area let's take a new page and erase all content on the left side we have setting option under this option you have multiple options like you can choose to disable and enable palm eraser hide or show the reference zone and select the language for handwriting recognition so this one is the cool feature here let's say i have selected hindi for handwriting recognition and i write now i click on the select icon and then recognize in the machine language next we have multiple options to export all pages of ez write 6 light let's see what all are the formats so you can export it in a qr code format email format image format pdf format iwb and at the end we have ez write format so ez write is benq's own format suppose a teacher prepares a lesson on ez write 6 on his or her laptop before class then that same lesson can be open on ez write 6 of the panel during the class next we have option to import old sessions which are saved on the panel moving on to the last icon this is the most useful icon in today's time it is called cloud whiteboarding wherein you can share the writing board software with the students irrespective of their physical location it can be simply done by scanning the qr code or by entering the url it also gives the option to invite the students to participate in the class by enabling them to write on the same whiteboard software so let's say i have my mobile phone and if i want to participate on the same session i'll just scan the qr code open the link and join the session so now i have the live feed of this writing board software on my browser of mobile phone so if i write something on real time basis i am also getting the same annotations if i want to give myself the permission to annotate or if you want to give permission to students for annotate then just click and give them the rights to annotate let's say i give myself the rights and now i can also annotate on the same writing board software that's all from me for today i'll see you soon 
Stay tuned for more such videos from Bank of India. Thank you.